Okay, let's talk about torque wrenches. Do you really need it if you're just a shade tree mechanic? Well, let's take your wheels for example. You brought your car in for a tire rotation, they torqued up your lug nuts, and a month later you get a wheel shimmy. Now how can that be happening? Well, if the lug nuts were over torqued and you have alloy wheels on your vehicle, that will cause the brake rotors to warp. So how do they warp? Because one lug may have 140 foot-pounds of torque, another lug may have 70, another one may have, let's say, 90 or 100, and all these differences result in unequal tension of the wheel against your brake rotor. So you bring it to the brake shop and they say, oh yeah, you either need new rotors or we're going to resurface the rotors. And it could have been totally avoided if the lug tension was set at the proper torque, between 78 and 85 foot-pounds of torque. Because with alloy wheels, the lugs sink into the alloy material at a different tension rate than steel wheels. So if you don't want to warp your brake rotors and you're doing your own tire rotations, make sure that the lugs are torqued at approximately 80 foot pounds. So how do we do that? Now this is a cheapo torque wrench, half inch drive. So you have these unit of me measurements. One side is in kilograms, the other side is in foot pounds. So you loosen up this knob here by turning this handle and we'll bring it down till we get to the 80 foot pounds of torque notch. So there's the notch. Yeah, there we go, right around there. So that's 80 foot pounds. All right, so this is a 19 millimeter socket with a, with a stubby extension, and we're going to check the torque on this Honda Pilot wheel lugs. When you get to the right torque specifications, the torque wrench will click. Okay, that clicked at 80 foot-pounds. Let's see what happens if it clicks at 90, but the torque wrench moved. That means it was somewhere between 80 and 90 foot-pounds. So we're at 90 now. torque wrench didn't move, so it's above 90 foot-pounds. So let's go up to 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up a couple of lugs, bring it to 80. Now I'll set this to 80. So all these lugs, before I loosen two of them and retorque them at 80, were over 100 foot-pounds of torque. That goes beyond the manufacturer's specs. So when these tires were rotated, they were probably rotated using uh, air-powered impact driver. The guy doing the rotation didn't apply the final torque with the torque wrench. Okay, now we're going to torque it on. Next one. 
these are all a little loose. Now this is a non-click torque wrench, so you can determine the actual amount of torque on a nut and bolt by just applying this on the nut or bolt and moving it. So this little arrow here will move to where the torque setting is. So the click torque wrench will only click off when you reach the specific torque setting that you set the torque wrench to. But with this mechanical type torque wrench, you can know what the exact torque is just by applying torque and seeing this needle move. So this is, to, this is a good wrench for determining existing torque, the other wrench for applying torque to the specific torque setting. This is an inch pounds because it's a 3 8 inch torque wrench. But if you got the half inch version of this, then it will go to foot pounds.